2023 was probably the toughest year we yet have had. We feel like now that we are in 2024, we want to uh, reflect on the year that has passed. This is not a video about complaining or anything. This is just a video where we are transparent and, and honestly just talk from, from our heart. Generally, I think 2023 was a tough year for a lot of people. It was a year of chaos and what seemed like nonstop fear mongering whenever you looked at a news site or turned on the TV. Because a lot of bad things has happened in yeah. 2023. A lot of people have been suffering much more than we have. Yeah. But there is a lot of evil going on in the world, of course. But I think even people that are not in those parts of the world have been struggling a lot in 2023. We're seeing the consequences of the years of the pandemic that are manifesting 2023, you know. So I think it's been tough for most people. But for us, the, the toughness has actually been on a very personal level as well. It's been a year of, of a lot of uh, hardship. I think we've had this uh, also uh, existential crisis in terms of what is it that we want to do. Because the last two years after we started changing a lot after our visit to Brazil with plant medicine and all this, we have changed a lot. And, yeah. and uh, our YouTube channel has been about Portugal and eating pochechas and you know drinking all, all the good liquors, <laughs> all the good wine in Portugal. You know the good life. That's also what we feel that a lot of you guys have uh, expected or expect every time we upload. But I also feel like so many people are doing Portugal now that it's almost overwhelming when you search for anything Portugal related. Yeah. There are so many people there now, and our love for Portugal hasn't changed but we also feel like there are other things that we want to explore content wise we don't really know what we want so we've been you know clinging on to portugal content but then at the same time we've been experiencing with a lot of other avenues of of, of content and generally we just haven't had a lot of success <laughs> no. uh, you know it's like the more uh, effort we put into our videos the less views reward and, and views we, we've gotten and that has been very detrimental to the point of you know confusion and capitulation our youtube channel is a reflection of who we are and we keep on changing like people do uh -huh. and that's why we are gonna make videos out of passion right because if you don't make it out of passion it becomes like a necessity and you lose that you know fire fire when yeah. you make the video so we want to go back to making these very transparent less touristy professional but more just us yeah because that's the reason we started this we wanted to share the things that we believe are amazing which were traveling back in the days hmm. it is still a big passion for us we love portugal we love traveling in portugal and in other parts of the world but we also feel like that there are other things that are very important in our lives so we want to put an emphasis on that in our future videos i also feel like in the world of content creation you kind of lose the soul of humans you know mm. we we lose touch of all the more sensitive topics because everything looks so amazing and we have also been guilty in that like we are only sharing all the beauty in life and there is so much beauty in life but we don't share the weeks where we are in the couch both of us completely paralyzed by what do you say pa paralysis by analysis yes exactly yeah. And, and have no idea what to do, how to start, how to continue. You Overthinking know? everything. Yeah. And um, especially this, you know, when we've only done 50 videos this year, it's, uh, or last year, it's, uh, it's been this obsession about making uh, each video. Professional video. Videos. Each video has to be professional, yeah. the perfect storyline, the hook and everything. And uh, it's been mm. so stressful every time we make a video that it's like taking the fun out of it. And I think maybe that we are just paying the price in this, in terms of not getting the views because maybe it comes across somehow like we've lost this human connection by being so focused on the production value that it's like okay we forgot that okay it, we started making videos because of you and me yeah. making videos about our life and then and what we thought was fun yeah. you know and i think we need to go back to that this trying to figure out how to to, to change our trajectory going forward uh, is it, super difficult, you know, because when we try to make content that is uh, off 
our normal um, avenue of, of, of topics, uh, they usually fail. And this has been in conjunction with our, our need to also pursue our own health. We focus so much on our health that it's actually had the opposite effect uh, because when we do the videos we do where we go out and drinking and you know it, it's the opposite of what we actually want to achieve and in that regard it's just been a, a vicious circle for, for, for us where we know that we should be more healthy and you know be what we want to become. Yeah I think like mental health and physical health are two things that we have worked a lot on but especially in me it has been really difficult because I've been working on a lot of mental issues, a lot of trauma, and actually that has been really bad on my physical health because when you confront yourself with a lot of trauma, you kind of tap into all the bad behaviors you have used to forget the trauma. So the last year for me has been very difficult from both an emotional and a physical um, aspect. But it's a journey. I hate when people say it, but it is a journey. And um, <laughs> I hope to share a little bit more about this in the coming year because these are things that people often don't want to talk about because it's very personal, it's very tender. I made a video um, two years ago where I talked about my alcohol abuse and I, I actually stopped drinking for 10 months. But then uh, I had one shot of mezcal in Mexico and then it just tra transitioned back to the old me. I have been drinking, especially the first six months of 2023, well. uh, way too much. But then I stopped uh, after going down in a, in a really dark hole. But then I went back to it in September, October, November. Definitely November. But then you kind of stopped a bit but again. But then I stopped again. And now I'm stopped again. But, you know, it's my yo-yo um, way of life. But also this form of escaping from, from uh, you know, what we're talking about now, our, our life, our YouTube channel. This is what we do for a living. And it takes up uh, a lot of, of our time. So, of course... Um, some people would say, well, you're lucky you can make videos and do this for a living and whatever. But oh, we, we definitely are lucky that there are, there are these opportunities out there. Yeah. But, but it's, it's, it's not easy, and all content creators would know this. It's not as easy as, it's, as, it, as it looks. It's, but I, 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 I want to say that I really feel like we're blessed that we yes. can do it. We got the 100,000 subscriber milestone and the silver plaque last uh, year, which was a, a huge you know, milestone. The, 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 it was like our greatest milestone, but then we only got around, uh, you know, 13,000 subscribers in a whole year, <laughs> which uh, is not a lot when you focus your entire life on making videos. And I think that's, you know, coping with this stress, you know, what are we going to do with our future? What are we going to do with this, you know, YouTube channel? How can we find a niche? that sort of applies to, to, to you guys who are already following us, but also all the people who have never heard of us. As, as tough as 2023 has been for us on a personal level, it has also given us the tools to, to, to go into 2024 with yes. a lot of optimism, positivity, and, and actually... An appetite for an doing appetite. better and yeah. doing more. And uh, so, so this year uh, is our year, it's your year, it's all of our year, uh, it's, it's all of us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, We're yeah, coming as, back. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, f focusing on all this fear mongering and chaos in the world, I think is the worst thing you can do. I think 2023 was, was just one big lesson in n not trying, you know, try not to focus on the things you can't change and instead just work on all the things you do have within your own control and power. Yeah. And, and I also think it's important to normalize that although you are not in the worst position of all humanity, it's okay to feel lost sometimes. It's yeah. okay to feel like you could do better and you just work on that. For us, it has been a lot about working on our hearts, working on our soul and our personality and who we are, you know. We, we are not going to make content like this uh, in the oh, new yeah. year uh, <laughs> where we're just gloomy and, and sad. No, no. Because uh, we're not. We're actually in a good space, yeah. in a good spot now. And, and that's basically what we wanted to talk about. And Amelia, 2024, what do we have in store? We, we want to make a lot more content and we want to focus more on, you know, the, the things. The daily life. Yeah. But, and also, as you said, you know, 
uh, when when creating content becomes uh, when create when content is a byproduct of passion, you create magic. When content is a byproduct of necessity, you create burden. Good and one. Uh, that is exactly um, what has happened in 2020. Three, three. and what we're changing into 2024. Yes. And that also means that it's going to be more raw. It's yeah. going to be more personal. Less production value. Yeah, but it's going to be fun. When we make a video like this, we would love for you to share what your struggles are, what you're going through, and what you are hoping to change. We want to make this little feeling of a community. Actually, community is the key word because it, the world seems more divided than ever. Uh -huh. So coming together as virtual friends uh, is, is, is very important um, and we do want to create this little YouTube family we had it before but we have taken it a bit for granted so now we want to yeah. create it again and then stay with it I think that's it there's no such thing as failure either you win or you learn, learn yeah please stay with us thank you for having stayed with us yeah. and welcome if you're new and uh, let's get this year started checking out <laughs> no, we're checking in. Oh, we're checking in. <laughs> Jonas on fire. See ya. Mm. Kisses, guys. Kisses, Lada. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes.